Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. As the New York Giants fall to 1-2, and two, one of the significant problems for the team is the lack of pass rush they have produced thus far in the season. So in today's video, we are going to be breaking down the former fifth pick in the 2021 draft, Kevion Thibodeau, in order to determine how good is Kevion Thibodeau and is he underrated, overrated, or properly rated. Kevion Thibodeau actually went out in last night's game and recorded the first sack of the entire season for the Giants. But other than that, he had a bit of an underwhelming night as that sack came on the first drive. And overall, this season, Kevion Thibodeau has a 36.6 PFF grade, which is absolutely atrocious. For reference, the average player gets about a 60 PFF grade. So that makes Kevion Thibodeau one of the worst graded players in the entire NFL on the defensive side. Thibodeau has always been a very interesting case study to me ever since he came into the NFL last year. Every single Giants game I watch, I really do hone in my attention on Kevion Thibodeau to see what he's up to. And in last night's game, I can promise you guys, I watched every single snap of Kevion Thibodeau. And let me tell you guys what I took away from watching him. First and foremost, it's kind of weird to bring up a player's frame and how it affects their play, but Kevion Thibodeau is one of those rare players who I look at from a physical standpoint and genuinely think his frame does affect his lack of production in the NFL thus far. Whenever a player's frame is blatantly different from the vast majority of players at their position, it's either an extreme positive or an extreme negative. An extreme positive example is Saquon Barkley. You look at his frame, you look at how big his his thighs are, you look at how built he is in his lower half, and you go, that is a significant positive. You look at Bryce Young, for example, you look at how slight his frame is at five foot nine, and look how skinny he is, and you go, yeah, that is a pretty extreme negative. This is how I feel about Kevion Thibodeau, but in a bad way. You look at his hips and lack thereof, you look at his overall physique, and he seems as though he is a very upright player, guys. Every single time I watch Kevion Thibodeau, he plays extremely stiff in his hips. Overall, he's very upright and he has a very high center of gravity and he has a very high equilibrium compared to the vast majority of edge rushers. The main two traits an edge rusher needs to have at the next level to become successful is one power and two bend. And Kevion Thibodeau straight up genuinely lacks the bend necessary in order to be an average or above average edge at the NFL level. It seems as though his body just reframes him from allowing to bend around tackles at the NFL level. And this weird fact about his body is concerning to me. Guys, just watch Kevion Thibodeau out there. He's very upright with his body movement. So overall, he does lack the fluidity that most dominant edge rushers have at the next level. What else? It's his motor, guys. So coming into the NFL, there were some smoke and some rumors surrounding his motor and lack thereof. And guys, on a play-to-play -play basis, Kevion Thibodeau is genuinely, consistently unblocked in the run game. Not only in this game, in this video I'm showing you guys, are there consistent times where Kevion Thibodeau is straight up ignored by offensive linemen by the 49ers in the run game, but on a game-to-game -game basis, Kevion Thibodeau on read options is consistently the option in which the quarterback reads because at the end of the day, Kevion Thibodeau really does lack that motor in the run game necessary in order to become an average to above average run stopper from that edge position. So one, one of the main problems with Kevion Thibodeau is that frame. It's that high center of gravity and that high equilibrium that has him lack that bend around the edge. And it is his lack of motor. This really is the first time I've brought up a player's frame in any videos I've made but it is so obvious in Kevion Thibodeau's game that he is so stiff to the point where I thought I had to bring it up. Now, let me come to Kevion Thibodeau's defense real quick. There were some moments in this game, especially late in the game, where he did look dejected out there and he looked somewhat mentally defeated. But I think one of the reasons why this is, is because the Giants genuinely use Kevion Thibodeau in such a bad way that is not indicative of him having success at the NFL level. There were several times in this game game where they asked Kevion Thibodeau to drop back in coverage and there was a play late in the game where he got a defensive holding near the goal line because the Giants wanted Kevion Thibodeau in edge rusher, a guy who seems as though in high school or in college, Kevion Thibodeau never guarded tight ends or wide receivers trying to run routes. And the fact that he's being asked to do this as a New York Giant at the NFL level makes absolutely no sense. After that play where he got the defensive holding, he was pulled out of the game and he was seen 
being coached up on the sideline. And this genuinely made me mad to watch as the Giants should absolutely never use Kevion Thibodeau in coverage. The fact that he got a holding has nothing to do with Kevion Thibodeau and has everything to do with the Giants' lack of plan to use Kevion Thibodeau in an effective way. So in that sense, I'm absolutely going to defend Kevion Thibodeau. At the end of the day, Kevion Thibodeau was an extremely productive player in college at Oregon. In his college career, he had 19 sacks, and I completely understand, based on production alone, why he was projected to be such a high draft pick. Now, do I think he was overrated coming into the NFL? Absolutely. Kevion Thibodeau was a guy who was very productive in college and was a very traitsy guy, but overall, to me, again, lacks that fluidity and lacks that NFL body and overall bend around the edge in order to be considered one of the best players in an NFL draft. Instead, in my opinion, Kevin on Thibodeau was a guy who should have been drafted around 20 to 30 in the NFL draft as he was a very productive college player who had a lot of high-end traits, but overall was a project player who on a down-to-down basis, you knew coming into the NFL, the down-to-down consistency wasn't going to be there, but he will show some splash plays. And from those splash plays, you can build a nice foundation to Kevin on Thibodeau's career in order to create some more consistency. Again, I do like Kevion Thibodeau, but was he this top 10 caliber pick? Absolutely not in my opinion. So coming into the NFL, I think he was overrated. Nowadays, I think he's properly rated. I think people already kind of realize he was a bit overrated coming into the NFL. I'm seeing a lot of people being way too negative on Kevion Thibodeau. I'm seeing some people hold out some hope that he could be this perennial top edge in the NFL. I don't think that ever happens, even though he has shown some really nice splash plays in his career. Overall, he is far from the problem on this Giants defense, but he is far from the solution on this Giants defense. Thanks for watching today's video of Mike Talk Sports. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on my takes on Kevion Thibodeau? Do you see what I mean in what I'm trying to suggest in terms of his frame, how upright he plays, and how it seems as though his equilibrium is genuinely higher than the average edge rusher who has such a low center of gravity in order to bend around those tackles? Or am I just speaking absolute nonsense in this video? If you guys think that I completely understand this, this is not your average breakdown on a player. I just thought as though this was a blatant observation I've been making about Kevion Thibodeau and I just had to make a video on it. If you enjoyed today's video though, smack that like and hit subscribe. I really appreciate it guys.